What's going on guys welcome to Gizmo Dick. So today's video is about how to jailbreak iOS 6.1.3. Now before starting this tutorial please make no a note that uh, this jailbreak is only valid for iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch 4G. If you try to jailbreak any of the newer devices using this method you might break it. This is not uh, valid for them. It is only for iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS and uh, iPod Touch 4 generation. Now my iPod Touch is running on iOS 4.1.3 and sorry iOS 6.1.3 and this uh, jailbreak is a semi untethered jailbreak so now let's get started with the tutorial so you need to download a few things before starting the actual jailbreak process so first you need to go to evasionjailbreak.net now all these links would be in the description box so check them out so go to evasionjailbreak.net and then you need to download red snow for mac or windows uh, depending upon what your operating system is and then you need to download uh, iOS 6.0 yes I said 6.0 for your iOS device so uh, as you can see this is only valid for iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS and iPod Touch 4G so after you have downloaded everything then uh, make a copy of them on your desktop so as you can see here is the iOS 6.0 firmware for my iPod 4G as well as the Red Snow First go into the Red Snow folder and fire up the Red Snow application. So as you will open the Red Snow application you will see two options. The first option would say jailbreak and the second one would say extras. So first click on the extras and then un under the select IPSW uh, tab uh, click on it and select the iOS 6.0 firmware for your device. Yes uh, 6.0 please make a note of it don't select the 6.1.3. So yeah select the 6.0 firmware and then return back. Now click on the jailbreak option. As we'll click on the jailbreak option, uh, in a few seconds you will get uh, three checkboxes. So uh, please make sure that you have the install CDR checkbox clicked. So now go to the next step, and as we'll see, uh, you have this enter DFU mode. So so entering the DFU mode is pretty simple. So first you need to connect your iOS device to the, to your PC and then switch it off. Uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, you can see uh, the process I'm doing it on my iPod Touch. So yeah, you need to power it off first and then click the next button on Cydia. And then as, as you can see, you have this guide which says you need to hold up the power up button for about 3 seconds. After it, you need to hold the home button as well as power button for around 10 seconds. You will see the Apple logo appear and then disappear again. And finally you need to leave the power button and hold the home button for a few seconds until uh, Cydia goes to the next step. So now let Cydia do its work. As you can see uh, you will get this uh, a very different wake screen on your iPod. So let Cydia continue its work and then uh, it will boot the iPod touch again. So after your iPod Touch is booted again, after all the process, you will see that there is no Cydia available in the iPod Touch. As you can see on my iPod Touch, I just jailbroke it and there is no Cydia on it. It is because you need to boot tether your uh, iPod Touch or your iPhone uh, once before getting Cydia. So now we will do the boot tethering process. So the boot tethering process is almost same. What you need to do is fire up Red Snow again, select your IPSW file and then under extras tab click on boot tether. Now again enter your device in the DFU mode. Uh, now after entering in the DFU mode, the CDI will do its work again. Now I got two errors uh, for the first time. Uh, the first error was that uh, the build keys were not found and the second was that the device was not identified. So and also once the red snow process got stuck uh, on the identifying device. so. Uh, these these are the errors which you might get so what i did was i tried it again and again so this so the fourth time it worked so the first three times there were some errors so be sure to try it again and again and finally uh, the device will uh, boot tether as you can see on the screen my ipod touches boot tethering so once the ios device boots up completely unlock the screen and in a few seconds you will see cydia icon available on the springboard so finally we got cydia now go into Cydia and you need to semi untether your device now so for that go to Cydia and uh, then under the sources tab click on edit and add source so the source we are adding is the bigboss.org slash 
semi tether i repeat the bigboss.org/semi tether you can see it on the screen add this source to your cydia library and after the source is done adding uh, click on the source and you can see this uh, semi untether ap application now it says ios 5 but it is compatible with ios 6.1.32 so click on it and then uh, install it so after it is done installing your device will respring once and then finally there you have it your semi untethered ios device running uh, jailbroken 6.1.3 so semi untethered jailbreak is kind of a tethered jailbreak uh, because uh, in tethered jailbreak whenever the battery runs out and you charge your device again you need to connect it to your uh, computer to boot it up but in semi untethered what you can do is that you can boot your device after it charges up but you cannot access some applications or some apps might crash and the cydia tweaks would not work so to work uh, then to make them work again you need to boot tether it up again with red snow so the so the benefit of semi untethered jailbreak is that you can access a device and boot it up in emergency situations so that's it guys this completes my tutorial on how to jailbreak ios 6.1.3 on iphone 4 ipod touch 4g as well as iphone 3gs you can ask your questions or comment about the video in the comment section be sure to hit that like button if i have helped you also hit the subscribe button below this video it helps me anyways guys thank you for watching be sure to be subscribed